today we're gonna go clean out the storage building I found a storage building in North Richland Hills near the North Richland Hills Mall for I don't know five six years something like that and I got a letter in the mail yesterday two days ago two days ago I got a letter in the mail saying they were almost gonna double my rent I've been paying hundred and twenty dollars a month for the last six or eight months uh, prior to that it was like 105 a month they went up a little bit on me and I'm like that's fine and then I got and then they were bought by another company and I got a letter in the mail two days ago that says they were I'm going from 120 a month to 205 a month so I called him and I said <coughs> no thanks I will be moving out by the end of the month I've got a lot of stuff to get rid of sell give away something like that so let's take a look So this is it. This is the storage building that I've had for like, I don't know, five or six years. And that's all my junk. This is a tower I got and top plate from a lady in Arlington, Texas, who called me and said, hey, her husband had gone silent key about a year prior. And she's like, I need this tower and these antennas taken down. If you come taken down for me, you can have everything. I'm like, great, I will do that. So got a couple of friends from a club to help me do that. I'm gonna take these out to the hunting lease and maybe hopefully one day put those up out there. This is a case right here that, so I'm keeping, I'm keeping the towers. I'm just telling y'all what this is. This is some extra coax. And since I've pretty much switched all my stuff over to Mezzi and Peloni coax, I'm probably gonna get rid of this. I might give this away to someone in a local club, maybe a kid who just got uh, recently licensed, but this is DXE 400. So it's DX engineering's version of LMR 400. And I've got two or three or four longer runs of that. So if someone's interested, someone locally, well, even even if you're not local, this video is going to post a couple, uh, yeah, a couple weeks before the Huntsville Ham Fest. So if you're going to be at the Huntsville Ham Fest and you're interested in that, let me know. This guy right here is a rolling music case that I got from a friend of mine. I put it in a few videos. I used to have it full of stuff and I would take it to like field day and whatnot and kind of outgrew it went a different route with a go kit it's obviously very large <laughs> but it's got wheels on it and it's a good protective case I um, I, I, I want to get rid of that and I'll take a very nominal price for it maybe 30 or 40 bucks 50 bucks something like that for it so someone who Obviously can't ship that. That needs to be local. So someone in the DFW area. This right here is a server rack that I've actually put on Facebook Marketplace. It's been there for probably a year and a half. And sometimes I have people reach out to me and say, hey, might be interested in your rack. Can you tell me about it? And I tell them about it. And they're like, okay, thanks. And then nobody's ever come to get it. Bolts to the floor. I'm actually going to offer this to a local club. A local club here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And I talked to somebody in the Hearst Club just the other day about this rack. So if they can use this rack, this will be donated to a local club. This is a piece of an antenna I got from somewhere that is one piece of a big Yagi antenna. And that's all they had. That's kind of kind of worthless. These are these Razor scooters were in my Galveston house when we bought the house. The batteries on them are both dead. But I always thought it'd be cool to get put some new batteries in them and use those to kind of tool around maybe tool around Galveston those would be cool to tool around a ham fest actually you know what maybe I'll go get a battery for one of those before the Huntsville ham fest that's a great idea so this is all the junk that's sitting on top of the tower there's a more DXE 400 here this is Chinese equivalent of LMR 240 so I think I don't remember if I got that at a ham fest or if I got that on Amazon. I don't remember what that is. Uh, these cases here, I need to sell these. I've got, this is like a, um, 
I think that one's a 4U, that one's a 5U, and that one is a 6U. And I've got two 6Us, and I'm keeping one of them for my own case, my own go kit, but I'm gonna build, I wanted to build go kits out of one of those, but I don't need all of them. So if someone wants a rolling, those have wheels and handles on them. I'll take them out here in a second and show them a better shot of that. There's some cans there. Those are new wheels for my 78 F-150. These are computer systems that I bought for the mounting racks at a ham fest a couple years ago. And I used it for a while and then I switched and pretty much all use all Lido mounts now. I think I'm gonna throw those out. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that yet. So this right here, this whole table right here is a rolling table. I used to take to ham fest to have display radios on to set up and kind of sell radios and have displays of that lit up that people could punch buttons on and whatnot so some that's a new power supply there it's not new that's a good power supply there it's an astron power supply old 30 or 35 amp power supply very heavy i will donate i've got two maybe three of those someone in dallas fort worth that's newly licensed especially if you're a a minor youth or something if you have somebody newly licensed in your household even if it's you i will donate that to you for a home base station these are Motorola cabinets for server racks. I want to take one of these home and put it in my own network closet. So today, so I got to clean all this junk out of here by the end of the month. And the problem is that the third week in August, I'm going to Huntsville Ham Fest. And then I come back for a couple days and I go to Colorado for the Overland Expo Mountain West show. And I'll pretty much be there until the end of the month. So in reality, I've got about a week and a half to clear all this crap out of here. So today's day one. I'm going to clean all this stuff off the top of the towers, get the towers out of here, take them to the deer lease today, and um, hopefully get rid of some of this stuff. So uh, once again, reasonable offers will not be refused. Mostly I just need to get rid of this stuff. Uh, but, um, you know, and some of it I will give away, but some of it I need to get a few bucks for too. So if you see anything in here, just let me know. Obviously, that was a lot of crap there. This guy right here has all of the guy wires still on the top of it there. And I was going to cut all those off and throw them out when I first got the tower. And people were like, no, no, don't do that. You could reuse those. And I'm like, okay. Sure does make for some cumbersome transport, though. Granted, I didn't really have to plan. I didn't really plan to have it in here this long when I originally brought that stuff here. So, this is what's left. These are all cans right here. One in the middle is a 220 can for a, repeat, a 220 repeater that I have all the parts for, but I don't have anywhere to put it, so I haven't put it together yet. These other two are 440 cans, actually. Yeah, I think they're both 440 cans. And I originally got them for DMR repeaters. I just ran out of repeaters. You know, a lot of the repeaters I put up were at club sites and they already had their own set of cans, their own frequency pair, so didn't end up using those. I might sell those cans Somebody wants to give me a reasonable offer for them, I might sell them or I might keep them. I haven't decided yet about those. These are ramps for stuff to go in the back of the truck. Again, this stuff right here, I'm probably going to get rid of. That's part of my 220 repeater. All of these bins right here are full of trinkets and stuff I picked up at some ham fest somewhere. That is a, what kind is that? I think that's a GE Master 2 six meter repeater. And I want to say it's a 100 watt repeater, 110 watt repeater, something like that. If somebody wants a six meter repeater, let me know. I have nowhere to put that. I thought about putting it up at the deer lease, but eh, I don't know. So uh, let's go out here and see what we've got out here. These are those um, rolling racks I told you about. This is the 6U. It's got wheels, it's got a handle. And you can pull it around like that. And they're all kind of like that. They're SKB brand. That's a 6U, a 5U, and a 4U. And I will let all of those go. So I've got an additional 6U at home that I'm currently 
haphazardly somewhat kind of when I get to it and feel like it building a go kit out of <laughs> those are for camera gear to transport back and forth to ham fests that's that coax I mentioned that's that thing that's more coax those 220 radios there are pretty cool old Kenwood 220 radios they don't come with tone boards the TM 3530A and they don't come and I don't remember if they didn't come with tone boards from the factory or if the guy I bought them from just told me they don't have tone boards but you can get tone boards for those on eBay for like I forget how much it is 60 80 bucks something like that and I want to do that I want to get a tone board for it put that up and do some testing with it but just haven't got around to that yet so anyway this is part one we're gonna take all this tower stuff in the truck to the hunting lease and drop it off and then I'm gonna put all this other stuff back in here and then I'll be back maybe this weekend maybe Monday I haven't decided yet to get some more stuff and take it somewhere because I got to get the heck out of the storage building so y'all let me know if you see anything of interest <laughs>